Okay, so reporting. Reporting is essentially the backbone of everything that we do at S9D. When we get a new client or a new campaign, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set campaign goals as we're building stuff out. So that's like a target cost per click, a target cost per lead. Um, by doing this, once our campaign is built and active, we're going to be able to uh, go back and look at those projections. Uh, you know, at a glance, we'll see if the campaign is being successful. And if it is not successful, it's going to show us what needs to be optimized. Um, if our clients campaigns are profitable, they are going to stay with us. If they are not profitable and the client is losing money, they are going to leave us. Because of this, reporting is the most important factor to our campaign success. You know, expecting it to just work continuously is not correct. Um, basically, at any point, we have to be monitoring and, and knowing what to change before we actually really need to make that change. That's why it's important to do this correct every single day. Uh, now, we have two reporting templates that we're working off of. We have our e-com reporting template, uh, which looks like this. Uh, and then we have a leads template as well. On our e-com template, what you'll notice is there is white lines. Uh, these are left white because these are the daily numbers that our uh, reporting specialists have to input. So that's Facebook spending, Google spending, clicks, views, leads, leads, email addresses. Now, when this sheet is made at the beginning of the month, um, it automatically is going to be populated with these blue columns. The blue columns are turned blue because they have formulas in them. So essentially our total spending would be say Facebook plus Google. So we don't touch this column because it has a formula in it. Uh, and finally, these green columns, uh, this is where we are setting our, our daily spending as well as our targets. Like if we have a target number of email addresses we'd like to get all day or a target number of leads. So they're green because they have to be input uh, by either the reporting specialist or the manager, depending on the campaign. Uh, with our leads template, very similar. Um, sorry. With our leads template, this is the monthly stats on our leads sheet. Uh, these are set up a little bit different, um, but essentially we're looking at the same things. The columns that are white are where we're doing our user inputs. The columns that are green is where the manager is setting the goals and the columns that are blue indicate that that's where there is a formula. Um, now, a very important thing that we have to look at is on both of these, we have our key metrics. Now our key metrics, um, for example, we have our average cost per lead, our target cost per lead, so that will be set. Uh, by the manager, I should actually probably color this green so we know that's what we are looking at. Uh, total leads, target leads, it's the same thing. These are running tabulations. Uh, and what we are trying to do here is just know that if our campaigns fall like at our target cost per lead or less, this campaign is going to be successful and then our clients will make money. If it goes above $10 per lead and goes into our red zone cost per lead, uh, then what we do is basically we are going to indicate it on that day uh, that we've gone over by changing the fill color to red or red. If we come back tomorrow, it's still out of the correct zone. 
we go to the next day and if we do it on a third day that three days in a row lets us know that it is time to correct this campaign it is time to make our adjustments uh, when that happens uh, it is the person who is in charge of doing the uh, daily reporting what they will do is navigate to our workflow board find the corresponding campaign like let's say it's this one here then what you would do is move it into the optimize column and then you're going to tag the person that's going to optimize it uh, in this current situation I am working with Daniel so Daniel would move it here Daniel is going to tag me on this Trello card um, so yeah basically getting back into it if we do a great job with reporting um, that means our campaigns are successful if our campaigns are successful that means we retain our clients and we have a healthy uh, we have a healthy company and our clients are having success the way that we make sure that these campaigns are healthy and profitable for our clients is by one tracking their success every single day and by two making sure that they are not hitting their red zones for three days in a row so when we get to uh, three days in a row of red zone activity the reporting specialist turns off our campaign drags it into the optimized column uh, and then lets us know it's time to go to work finally the last thing I want to touch on with these reporting sheets is that every time our customers get a lead or an email we give them a prompt at the bottom of that automated email telling them that they are welcome to check out their stats for themselves on this reporting sheet so the customers have constant access to this now on our end that means we have to keep the sheets looking impeccable all the lines correct uh, making sure everything is added up perfectly um, so it's a little more work at the time of but in reality what we found is this saves us a ton of time because then we don't have to put together monthly reports we have the key metrics tables at the right side of each of the reports and then that just serves as a real-time kind of dashboard that the client can look at to know their uh, how everything is performing and what they should be doing so if we keep our sheets immaculate then we don't have to make reports so it is a win-win and the customer knows exactly what they're getting at every second uh, so it's uh, it, this has been a great addition to our campaigns.